Nightlife on the Bay of Rethymnon in northern Crete. Most tourists aren't aware that the beach is also popular with sea turtles. This female hatched on this beach many years ago. Adult sea turtles return to where they were born to lay their own eggs. It's five o'clock in the morning. Ruben and Julia work for Greece's Sea Turtle Protection Society, Archelon. They're just setting off on their morning inspection rounds. At daybreak, they reach the most important nesting beach for the sea turtles of Crete. It's 11 kilometers long. Archelon is the only organization looking after it. The group receives no financial support from the Greek government. On this area is uh, around 37% of all the nests in Reckon, though. There's uh, approximately 45 nests here. Ruben and Julia look for new nests and turtle tracks, but don't find any. The pair check the old nests. They're fenced off, but a path to the sea has been left open so the hatchlings can reach the water. Every day, the straw fencing has to be re-secured. Eggs laid on popular tourist beaches are never safe. As you can see with the, the sunbeds here, half the beach is lost, half the space. So when the female turtle comes out to lay the nest, the sunbeds are in the way and the turtle hits into them and goes back to the sea and not having the nest. Another Archelon worker, Aliki Panagopolo, says mass tourism is not the only thing threatening the sea turtles. The Greek construction industry is also to blame. The most important is that there are a lot of buildings built on the, uh, practically on the beach. The illegal buildings is a problem uh, in general throughout Greece and they have destroyed the uh, natural defense of the beach and there is erosion, so we are losing the beach, in fact. In the afternoon, the Archelon workers dig into the sand to excavate an old nest. Ten days ago, baby sea turtles hatched here. Word of the activity has spread fast, and a group of tourists gather round to watch. Reuben must now find out how many eggs were laid and assess the condition of the shells. It's not easy working in 35 degrees Celsius heat. Incubation can take up to 60 days, and not every egg will survive. Counting eggs is important for keeping accurate statistics. The average is around 120 eggs per nest. Um, sometimes they could have 180, sometimes they might have 80. Excuse me, when the mother turtle is laying the eggs, what uh -huh. time of the year? What time of the year? is uh, usually sometime between uh, the middle of May to the middle to the end of July. Thank you very much. Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> the workers dine together before the evening shift departs on its rounds. They'll visit local hotels in small groups, informing tourists. Mandy and her group go to Golden Beach. Archelon cooperates with hotel owners to spread the message that tourists and turtles can share beaches without harming each other. Hello. Are you interested in the turtle? The information stands are popular with tourists. They're curious to learn more about sea turtles and how to protect them. The best friend the, tur the turtle can have is the tourist on the beach. If they're aware that this is a vulnerable area, we may have nests, we may have turtles nesting, um, then they're more likely to take care with their activities that they do sunbreds, umbrellas, digging sandcastles and all this sort of thing. So it's really, it's really vital um, that we inform as many people as possible. The Archelon workers ask local hotel owners not to illuminate their hotels at night. Hatchlings use starlight to get their bearings and hotel lighting can confuse them. It's 5.30 the next morning. Reuben and Julia are on their rounds. Again, they find no turtles. But this time they find tracks, proof that all the overnight hatchlings made it to the sea. Reuben says it was a good thing they hatched during the night. If the turtle comes out now, then it, it can take a long time to walk from the nest. Um, and in that time, the sun will come up and it will get very hot. And then the turtle can, uh, can dehydrate uh, and die. 
so we don't want the turtles to hatch during the day. But Ruben's comments seem to have tempted fate. Just as he finishes speaking, nine baby turtles hatch right next to us in broad daylight. Everyone is captivated as the hatchlings make their first attempts at walking. The scent of the sand is imprinted on them on their way to the sea. The females will return here once they reach sexual maturity. These ones are very quick. Usually they, they are slightly slower. And these ones are obviously very happy to be out and alive and, and they're gone. Some of these turtles will return here in 30 years time to make their own nests. But first, they've got a long journey ahead of them.